This is the Keyboard Viking and welcome everyone for another episode of Mass Effect Andromeda. I finally had some time for some sleep, some uh, well-earned rest and now I'm fully charged and ready to get back into this game. I've really been looking forward to this. I've had loads of stuff to do, boring stuff like grocery shopping and all sorts of stuff. Honestly, I really didn't want to. I was honestly so close and just skipping everything because this game is so great. But I managed to do everything I had to and now I can devote the rest of my time to this game and I'm really looking forward to it. So let's just continue from where we left off. I'm going to try today to make the episodes a bit shorter. Um, since I think the episodes became a bit too long yesterday. However, let's see if I can manage to do that because this game will, is just sucking me in and I might lose track of time. For example, when I edited the videos uh, for today, I was actually surprised that I spent 45 minutes in character customization. Um, but, let's see. Okay, where were we? Okay, I need to speak with Sam at the Hyperion. And the rest of the task is at planet side. So we'll just head back to talk with Sam. Honestly, I can't remember the way, but I think we should be able to find our way. And just get to see if there's anything special around the ship we can look at. Okay, well, this. Okay, discovered Sam though. Okay, so we found the place where we're supposed to go. That's convenient. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Sam Node. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best to speak alone. AIs and their secrets. I still miss Edie, but I'm giving Sam a chance. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... Well, that's great. Me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Okay, I think this is the way they explain how to uh, work with profiles. So far, I remember from videos I've seen about the game um, is that you can change profiles during your missions to enhance yourself. If you want to, to be as focused on sniping stuff, uh, for example, you can switch one profile or, uh, with the skills you have uh, available learned. Um, but I guess we'll get to see more about this now. I can understand. People yeah. might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you Until get something goes wrong. Artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Oh, great. Yeah, well, apparently he's not just a computer. But the human's still in charge, right? <laughs> yeah, we need to get this settled. intended to support the Pathfinder, only to support and enhance your abilities. Good to hear. So what's the plan? 
I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. I see you guess Thanks. that is my quarters now. Okay, profiles. Profiles allow Sam to reconfigure Riders' implant for superior battlefield performance. Select the profile and press Melbourne, space in my case, to activate it. Okay. Ah, okay, fair enough. So these are the profiles. And then give bonuses to different things, okay. Uh, these are the classes we had from previous games. And then we have Explore, which is locked. Explore check of all trades with the abilities ranging from combat and tech to biotics. So that's the check of all tra trades, yeah. Uh, this profile reconfigure Rider's mind and body to see uh, to be as versatile as possible, permitting him to switch rapidly between firing weapons, deploying technology, and wielding biotic powers. So I need two skill points each invested in combat tech and biotics, and it gives me some bonuses to everything. And I've gone with the Infiltrator. Takes Infiltrators are taking Combat Specialist. Uh, it'll give me Weapon Accuracy, Stability, Check Recharge. It's at Weak Point Bonus Damage. Observe enemies through walls when using the scope. Uh, while evading a brief cloaking device activated. Okay, well, Soldier is the one I have unlocked. Makes sense compared to the skills I've chosen and the way I've played. Now, soldiers are pure combat specialists. No one is tougher or more effective for taking down enemies with gunfire. This profile optimized riders' mind and body for superior mastery of his armor and weapons. Okay, so to get to rank 2, I need 24 skill points invested in combat. It's gonna take a, time, a while. So far it gives me more weapon damage, accuracy, damage resistance, more uh, ammo and grants an escalating damage bonus for every target killed in a short time. Well, I'm happy with that. Okay. Ah, okay, and then shifts over there. These are quarters then. How convenient. Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seize your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. That's a nice office. And a weapon rack. Very nice. Your father's first sidearm. A memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Old school. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Ooh, the Normandy. Nice. Okay, so I guess that we get to put ships on the wall in this game as well. Nice. Memory trigger. Sam, what was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnoad on the Hyperion to investigate further. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. Coffee! <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. 
And now you know what humility feels like. Archive system? What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. Of course they are. General locks. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Liara, okay, interesting. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sister's mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work. There's so much of fan service. I know, and Asari. I think it's cool. Getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Well, you could have avoided the Reapers. I think that's actually most people on this expedition is quite lucky. Dunn's agreed so to the scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapero says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. I will Which pass on the me message. The tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are... Things you're gonna find out. I hope you'll understand. Great. That's just great. Bit concerned what we might find of his old that stuff. Is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Okay, so it's just gonna be like that all the way around. Audio except. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. I'm guessing another one of Liara's. When studying yeah. a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack <clears throat> of an observable population. This raises the question, when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. Fair enough. Well, let's see what memory we have unlocked. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, 
you will experience them via your implants. Okay, that's kind of freaky. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. As long as it's nothing to do with our mom, it's okay. <laughs> Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back no, decades. Again. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. So I wonder who we went to to get this made. Alec? Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. Oh, great. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. Um, I have no idea what the background story for this is. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Okay, well, let's say more about this. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. He removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Yeah. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. Yeah, just don't go Skynet on me, then I'm happy. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM. Simulated, adaptive, matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. Of course it was. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced SAM in the initiative. Unless somebody else worked on it, and you don't know, but let's just assume that you are. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. 
A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. I wonder how long will it actually take before our sister wakes up? That's all for now. Of course. Could imagine it's gonna take a while. It's gonna be at some point where we are split up or something. Let's see, was there more audio locks in here, as you said, or was that the ones we already listened to? Your father's personal locks. Yeah, there's a new one here. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. I guess we will find out more about that later. There's been trouble on the station. How about you had that? We just got here. How did you know that already? Word gets around. Does it now? People talk to me? Anyway, as soon as we establish outposts, everything will even out. I'm sure of it. What about your family? I'm an orphan. My parents died on the Mindoir colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind, but I have friends here too. I love Wait to dig up old bad memories. But I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. Why did you join the initiative? Ah, uh, the most popular question on the station. Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? Captain Dunn. Of all the captains I've piloted for, she's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know, it's a rose-colored outlook, but... Someone's gotta keep the positivity coming, right? Uh, we're, gonna, we're going to need that, since right now everything is Have just to go going now. to shit. See you later. Good luck. I guess this one is locked. Yes, it is. Okay. Ah, uh, there she is. Ryder. You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Hey. Sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planet side, though. Okay, so actually, uh, three options here are actually quite negative. Um, as I don't know much about. Uh, the backstory for the family, but I guess that this makes you able to shape how it was. And I'm gonna try to have a bit more positive outlook at it because I respect that he was hardworking and that he was an N7, so he was in the armed forces and deployed a lot. And I know that that's a duty you have, you can't always be around then. So I'll just go with I'll miss him.
I wish you were still here. There's so much you could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Now that the Hyperion is docked, what'll you do? Hit the bar. Normally, I'd supervise thawing out no, the colonists, okay. but that's been put on hold. I hear you're the one helping resolve the issue. Good luck with that. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster, even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the quadrant. I mean, 605 years. The way things are now well. isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best and plan for the worst. Why did you join the initiative? We're a long way from home. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. What self-respecting explorer could pass that up? I can understand them. I think this would right. be really I interesting. To submit administrators to harass and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. Okay. So where the hell am I going? Um, let's see. Yeah, throughout the world. Um, ah, okay, fair enough. Here, loot very nice. Oh, that reminds me that actually there was a shop. Maybe we should go in and have a look at our inventory now that it is open. Okay, we have two pistols, Predator the Charger. Let's see, less damage, higher fire rate. Uh, clip size. Okay, so we can't equip it like that. Integrates VI improved synergy between melee weapons and fire computer, allowing increased melee damage. Okay, so this isn't the place where I equip these things. Rare for assault rifles. Plus 10 damage, I like that. And penetration damage. Okay, that's really nice. And accuracy. Okay, I'm gonna take the accuracy. When I get a chance to actually modify these things. So I think this is the helmet I got from watching the Drama the Initiative videos on their website. All six videos. Okay, now I'm really curious where I get to equip this. Okay, we have a level up. I'm gonna invest more in combat.
increased accuracy. And increase our shields. I think that is a wise investment. Okay. Okay, so we're still on our ship, but there's just one part of it and then we can like to go to another place on the ship. Because Doggy Bay, Cry Bay and Operations. And Operations is over at the Nexus. I have to go to Doggy Bay but let's go to Cry Bay to have a look over there, see if anything has happened. Talk with our sister and the NPCs over there. Well, not talk with our sister, but see how us, our sister is and see what's going on. Maybe find a side quest, who knows? Because let's face it, this is an RPG and we love side quests. Because that beats more XP. I'll make it right, Dash. Nigel. I promise. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos. Oh, that trying sucks. To start the settlement. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were going to start families out here together. I have a pendant to our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Sure thing. Bit sentimental, but we'll do it. Guess that is our sister. Yes? No? Looks out like our sister. Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry we couldn't save him. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know how he died. So, just gonna assume that good. they did their best. Yeah. Pathfinder on my watch doesn't sit right. My dad knew the danger. Part of the job. Now I just need to make sure your sister here pulls through. Yeah, how How's is Sarah she? doing? Her condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so she's dreaming. It means all the wiring still works. How'd this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment. Just as the stasis revival was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment coming out of a 600 year nap, then wham! Circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another rider. Hold you up to that. How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could. I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. So coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis. <laughs> a chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope. That's one way to describe right. it. It's cool. Are you staying here on the Hyperion? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... Ha, <laughs> right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. What will you do on the Hyperion? Probably be a doctor, as he's... people taking a nap here, and they need tending to. And this way I can look out for Sarah. 
as he's a science student, so he's a doctor, so it's a weird question, really, but... That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Sarah, I'll let you know. Hang in there, sis. Fisher. Fisher, glad to see you're doing better. That was some expedition, hey? Captain said I'm going in the log as the first human to make contact with the cat. And Kirkland's the first casualty. Wish it could have gone differently. Well, he made the history books, both of them actually. Wasn't your fault. It's obvious the cat aren't friendly. Nothing we did could have changed that. I suppose you're right. It's just not what you dream about. Meet a new species and three seconds later they're trying to kill you. Oh. I hear you. But it's just life. Not everyone will see things our way. In the meantime, chin up. It'll get better. I'm gonna make the cat pay. Hoorah! Oh, and Hayes? With the funky hair? Hayes, how's the wound? Doc says I'll live. So this goes from a life threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate, that was a tough fight on Habitat 7. Just glad to be on the other side of it. I'm ready for Greer. Greer, how you feeling? Grateful. If you and Liam hadn't found me in that cave, God knows what those aliens would have done. We couldn't leave a man behind. Yeah, your father, and Kirkland. We'll never forget their sacrifice. It's a brave thing, risking your life for the greater good. Yeah, it just seems unfair. We barely got here. I'm sorry I'm not out there with you, but Kirkland was a friend, and I'm not cut out for this anymore. God damn it! Everyone chicken out now. Habitat Seven was a nasty wake-up call. You take care, Greer. You too. And thanks again. Follow some kind of soldiers. Anything interesting down here? Nope. Oh, had to check. Let's head to the shops. Get to see that. And I think we're gonna take a short break now, so stay tuned for another episode.